Welcome! Good morning everybody and welcome again to our Bunker Labs Day 2 at VBS Tiger Hill where we will be learning to remain faithful when tested. You're right, we are getting to the theme. So, do you all remember what the theme is? Okay, let's give us some time to recollect the theme of whatever we learned in our opening session. Okay, so what the theme is? Yes, when tested, be faithful. At the end of the session, we are going to remember that during the toughest situations in our life, we are going to remain faithful no matter what. Isn't that exciting? Okay, fine. Can you can you see that image right there? Yes. What do you think it is? Well, yes, there are some thoughts running in your head, which is obviously right. Okay, now let's go see a small little video on what exactly does this equipment do and it's called the carburetors. So let's go and watch the video and get back and see how we can reflect on a carburetor. Okay, so we are here, we are back again. Okay, so, so what did the carburetor do? Yes, it's a small equipment, but it is the most essential equipment to hold your entire body through, you know, while doing the rock climbing. You, you know, it is a very important element. You know, a carburetor actually has a great deal of stress. It holds your entire body weight in it, and it also protects you. It does not let you fall off break your leg or break your arms or break your elbows no no it protects you so remember boys and girls during the toughest situation in our lives a carburetor is something that we can reflect back and see that God is someone just like a carburetor you we might not be able to see God but you need to remember that he is always there to protect you but before we get into all the protections and all of that um, I want you to Think of certain characteristics of a Satan. Oh, yes, I said Satan. Yes, um, I want you all to give me at least three characteristics of what a Satan can be or what a Satan is capable of doing. Okay, I'm going to give you all some time. Ponder on the thought on what Satan can do and get back to me. So, well, I'm going to give you three points in our Pankalab session today on which the Satan can play with you. Okay? The first point is deception. Repeat after me. What? Deception. And deception is an act of deceiving someone. Okay? The second point that we're going to explain a characteristic of the Satan is desire. Yes, he enables you to have desires of something which is very harmful or which is not something right for you. But he allows you to go and have a desire, craving for something that you're not supposed to be having. Yes. And the third thing is enticing. Yes, I said enticing. What, what is enticing? To be enticed is something where you are attractive or you are attracting yourself to something or you are hitting somebody for a pleasure or you're taking an advantage of something. Enticing is not that very good. I want to explain this to you with an illustration. Okay, so, uh, well, let me do it with uh, maybe a fishing rod, okay? So hang in there, go get my fishing rod and let's see what we can do with the fishing rod. Oh, yeah. So can you all see this? Yep, yeah, this is my fishing hook for today. And what does a fishing rod do? Fishing rod catches fishes. You're right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to catch some fishes. Um, so 
Imagine, okay, let's bring our imagination and imagine there's a pond in front of you and we're going to drop this fishing rod right in front. Okay? Okay. What's going to happen? Are we, are we catching any fishes or are the fishing, are the fishes getting entangled? No, that's not it. We need to entice the fish with something. So how can we do that for fishes? Yes, the worms. So let's add the worms. So I'm going to imagine this object to be a worm. Okay, so I'm going to fix the worm to my fishing rod nice and tight so it doesn't fall off. Yes, so the worm is there nice and tight. Now I'm going to throw back this fishing rod inside the pond and let's see if we can entice the fish, okay? Okay, so here we go. Oh, I think I caught a fish. It's quite heavy. Ugh. You know what? What if I do the same thing with y'all? Let me try to entice y'all with something. Okay, so let me take this back and add something else with it. Okay, let me take off this worm object. So let's attach a note to this. It's money. And I'm going to throw it to y'all. And let's see how y'all are going to accept this. Okay, so here I go. Oh, looks like someone caught it. And is taking it. Whoa. Okay, let me keep this aside. Okay. by that when I threw the money one of y'all picked it up now what if I remove my cap and I adorn myself with a lovely hat isn't that exciting I have a CD here that keeps me on the move I have money here money is all that we need right money is everything oh look makeup using this to hide the real you Oh look, I have earphones. Earphones. Wow, these music, this music always keeps me on the move. Let me keep this aside. Yes. So we saw certain illustrations on what the world can attract us or rob us away from the actual stuff. And that's God. You know what, boys and girls? Remember all these worldly desires are there to tempt us and remove us from what is supposed to be really looked at during the time when we are tempted or tested which is always a phase it's always a phase during this phase remember that you need to be faithful and during the process of remaining faithful you are going to be refined and you become refined as gold isn't that beautiful I want you all to when I say when tested you need to shout out and say be faithful okay when tested when tested, very good boys and girls. Life always has so many uh, situations to test us, right? And remember, in all those situations, it's gonna enable you to fall down due to the temptations and stuff. But you need to pick up yourself, roll your shoulders back like a soldier, and not get distracted by the no unnecessary stuff but be focused on your worthy goals and keep moving forward and remain faithful during this entire time. Are you all excited to remain faithful when tested? Yes. Okay then boys and girls, let's meet up for tomorrow's session. For now, bye-bye.